Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome to Back in the Day, and what is actually going to be my uh, second vlog. Uh, as you can see here, I have a cup of coffee. I, if I'm, if I'm going to do a vlog, I need some sort of like a visual reference or just kind of something setting in front of me. Uh, it, it, it may seem odd, but I don't want just kind of empty space. But uh, I had some coffee left over in my thermos from uh, from this morning. I was I was taking a, a, a thermos full of coffee to work with me. It, trust me, it's it's a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, stopping at uh, Sheets or uh, Sheets is a is a local convenience store in our area. Uh, it, it certainly beats paying you know like a dollar fifty for a, for a cup of coffee there. So I mean I can I can literally make a thermos for you know pennies. So uh, yeah, I heated myself up a cup of coffee. I'm gonna take a sip here. Um. Yeah, it's it's been a little while since my my last video. Uh, I believe the last one was the unboxing of Double Dragon, um, and you know I had wanted to uh, wanted to do another video after that, but uh, you know it's I'm not the busiest guy in the world, and I don't want to try to make it out as though I am. But I mean, my gosh, I have so I've had so much stuff going on the, the last few weeks, uh, a couple of months actually since uh, since all that had, had transpired. Um, I believe with my last vlog, I had, had talked about my dog. It seems to kind of be the focal point in, in my life anymore, uh, both my, my wife and I, uh, has, has been the dog. Uh, you know, it's, I think I've, I've, I've said this before, you know, we don't have children. Uh, we, we had made that choice early on when we, when we first got married that we just, kids weren't in the cards for us. We just, it wasn't something that we wanted. So we have, we have fur babies. Uh, but, uh, he has, has, has taken over a massive part of our life because he's a very demanding dog. Um, which I, I can't necessarily say is a, is a bad thing, uh, per se, but at the same time, it's like when you want to sit and relax and he's just like, you know, constantly in your face and, and wanting attention, it, it can get a little old and, and has made for, uh, some frustrating Sunday afternoons when I just want to sit and, and either, you know, veg and watch some TV or, or actually, you know, go in and, and, and do some gaming for, for about an hour or so. But, you know, I mean, that being said, it's, it's, it's still been good, um, we actually, uh, we just enrolled him in, I don't want to call it obedience school because it's not obedience school, it's it's dog training. Uh, I mean, they do essentially, they, they work with, uh, you know, behavioral problems. He doesn't really have any. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of funny. Um, before he had been diagnosed with his uh, his allergies, um, we, we had him outside a lot, you know, um, things like that. I mean, he can still go outside with, within reason with certain things uh, we kind of have to watch. Uh, with fall now setting in, uh, the pollen hasn't been nearly as bad. He's been able to be out more, which is, is nice. Actually, I think this Saturday we're, we're going to have him outside. But uh, anyways, we, um, uh, we began kind of getting some issues with him around June where he was, he was really starting into the, into the, the jumping you know, and we tried everything to combat that, and it just was like, it was getting worse. So, uh, between that and, I think that was kind of when he was coming into his own, like his, his testosterone levels were really kind of shooting through the roof, and he was realizing his strength. Uh, we couldn't even take him for walks. We'd take him for walks, and I mean, he would just pull us the whole way. We would go for a 40-minute walk and a half an hour. That By the time we'd reached the half-hour mark, he was tired out. That was only because he'd been pulling and fighting us so hard. So uh, uh, we were both on vacation about two weeks ago, and I spent the first five days. I flew down to Alabama and spent a few days with my dad, and my, my wife stayed here with the, with, with the, the kids. Um and we weren't really sure how he was going to react. It was really kind of the first time that uh, he he had seen me gone for for that that amount of time. Uh, you know, generally it's only like just, you know a few hours. If you hear the scratching in the background, he's playing with one of his toys and he's running his paws up above uh, against the wall. Excuse me. Hey, Sebastian, stop. Okay, pardon me. That guy. I think that makes a vlog a little more real when you have to stop and, and have one of your your animals, uh, you know, ob obey. So, uh, anyways, I uh, I was I was coming home. I, I I flew out of Pittsburgh. I'm driving home from Pittsburgh, and uh, I called my wife like maybe about three minutes before I get to the house, and I, I said, "All right, well, you know, meet me with him outside to see how he reacts." So I uh, I pull into the uh, I pull into the driveway, and he. Uh, apparently had drug her onto the ground. I mean, he's, he's an 80-some pound German Shepherd. I mean, he's got a hell of a lot of strength. So he 
drug her onto the ground. She twisted her ankle as I pull in. She's crying, and I was like, oh, you must have missed me. She's like, no, he pulled me on the ground. And so uh, it was by happenstance that we happened to find a, uh, uh, a number for a trainer uh, not too far from where we live. And we, it was something that we'd looked into before, but most of the local trainers that, that we had come across and had looked up information on, it was all, they taught sit and stay and, and lay down, things that he pretty much had already known. Um, this trainer actually is working with us, you know, the jumping and the pulling and really refining uh, a lot of a lot of his training as, as far as like the, the sits and the stays and the downs. I mean, he's he's made immense, immense progress in the last two weeks, I couldn't be prouder. Um, I mean, we, we put a lot of work into this and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's really eager, eager, eager uh, excuse me, eager to learn. You have to pardon me. Sometimes I stumble over, uh, over, over words at times. Uh, the right side of my tongue is actually, uh, I, I suffer from paresthesia. I had my wisdom teeth taken out, uh, a year, a little over a year ago and the feeling never came back in the right side of my tongue. Um, so yeah, I stumble over words from time to time, uh, because of the lack of feeling. Uh, I was told that the nerves would eventually uh, regrow and, and regenerate and, and I would get feeling. It's been almost a year and a half and it's yet to happen, so uh, I'm doubting that's going, that they're going to come back. But anyways, I'm, I'm super, super proud of, uh, uh, proud of him. He's done really, really well. Uh, we, we took him actually to a, to a party Saturday night and I mean, he was better than phenomenal. So... Uh, like, yeah, I was, I was really, 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 really happy. So that's kind of what's going on with him. Uh, like I said, I, I flew down to Alabama for, uh, for a few days, got to spend a few days with my dad and we just kind of hung out and watched TV. Uh, I went out with my, uh, my stepsister, uh, and some friends of hers and got extremely shit faced, uh, drank way too much beer that night. Um, but you know, Hey, it was, it was vacation and I paid for it the next day with a, a nice, uh, headache, hangover headache. Uh, Spidey Whitey Andy Rue, you know, uh, one of my, my YouTube buddies, me, me verse buddies, uh, we were actually texting back and forth the whole time, so it was, it was all good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he was, he tried getting drunk the same night, didn't work out, he ate some, like, I think they were called Ultimate Nachos and drank three beers and passed out. But, uh, so Andy, what's, what's going on, man? What's going on, brother? Uh, other than that, um, you know, really, not not a whole lot else uh, going on. Just work and uh, spending time with uh, with my wife and Sebastian, the the German Shepherd. Um, yeah, that's that's really it. I mean, it's and it's now officially fall uh, here in uh, North Central Pennsylvania, and uh, the weather is reflective of of the time of year. It's it was a little humid today, but boy, that temperatures drop, and it was starting to get cold and the leaves are changing and, and whatnot. I, I love fall. Fall's one of my, my absolute favorite times of year. It's just it, the, the mosaic of colors that, that comes out is just absolutely stunning. I, I love it. The, the smell of the leaves. Uh, yeah, just, just an absolutely fantastic uh, time of year. But uh, yeah, I hope everything has uh, been well with everybody else. Um, hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to say. And I will uh, catch you guys with my... Uh, Next unboxing video, which I will actually be filming after I'm done with this. So uh, take it easy.